Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So I thought it would come on and I would do a quick reading for you. This is going to be a quick all signs reading. Um, it's going to be for those of you who have someone on your mind, okay? So if you can't seem to get someone off your mind, it's New Year's. Um, I'm going to be channeling your person. I have three oracle decks here. I have the beautiful Love Lessons deck here. I also have the Lover's Oracle deck here, and I also have the Whispers of Love tarot deck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sign by sign. These are going to be quick love messages um, for the one that you've been thinking of, okay? The one that you've been thinking of um, right now, okay, during New Year's. So what is this person thinking, um, you know, will they reach out, and most importantly, um, when they think about you, what are they thinking about, okay? So we're going to start off with the sign of Aries. I'm going to start off with Aries, okay? So I'm going to be pulling random oracle messages. So the first message, Aries, from your person is vision. Okay, it says vision. And it says, no matter what you see, the bigger picture of, no matter what you see, the bigger picture of a loving and just universe. So this person, Aries, um, they have a vision, okay? They see you, they envision you, you know, when they think about you is what this is saying. Next Oracle message for Aries. Ooh, okay. So this person, when they think about you, they want to have a new beginning with you. And it says, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, so your person wants to have a new beginning. Let's see what they want to say to you. Ooh, okay. And right now, during New Year's, they're thinking about spending quality time with you. And it says, listen and talk to each other. So this person wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you. So... If they had something to say, what would they say? What are they thinking about when they think about you? Ooh, this person wants to talk, Aries, Eight of Wands. What is it that they want to talk about? They want to have a new beginning with you. So your person, Aries, they're all about having a new beginning. They're all about wanting to start a fresh new start with you. This is what they want, okay? So that's for Aries. We're going to move on to Taurus. Taurus. Okay. So Taurus, what is your person thinking of? The one that's on your mind the most? Responsibility. The message from your person is, you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Okay, the next message for you and your person, from your person, ooh, surrender. So Taurus, your person, they're asking you to surrender and the message from them is, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go and all will work out. So this person wants you to let go of um, any expectation that you have regarding them. So let's see what else your person wants to say to you. Mm. Your message from your person is, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So let's see what this person's thinking of when they think of you. Ooh, Ten of Cups. So this person, um, when they think about you, they think about happiness. They think about coming together. This is somebody who really believes that you could bring them a lot of happiness. Okay, so this is what they're thinking of when they think about you, Taurus. Okay, let's move on to the next sign. <clears throat> Gemini. Gemini message from your person we have elevation 
you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. So your person, Gemini, um, they want you to raise your consciousness, okay? Your person tries to connect with you all the time is what that card is telling me. Let's see what else they want to say to you. Passion. It says, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. This person, Gemini, they are really passionate about you is what this is saying. If they had something to say to you, what would they say? Physical touch. A tender touch means so much. So Gemini, I feel like your person, they want to really be intimate with you. This is very passionate energy. Okay, let's see what they want to say to you. What do they want to say to you? Two of Wands. So this person, they really wish that you two were not in separation. Like... If you're in separation right now from this person, um, I strongly feel that this person doesn't want to be in separation from you. They want to be connected with you. For many of you, you're separated from this person. And what they're saying here is, when you think of me, I'm thinking of you. This is what this is saying. So your person wants to physically connect with you. That's what this is saying. Okay, let's move on to the next sign. Sign of Cancer. Cancer. Okay. Okay, let's grab a random oracle card. Okay, we have cooperation. So your person, Cancer, the message from them is in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has a value. Okay, so the oracle message that this person wants to tell you when it comes to love is reflection. So Cancer, I feel like this person that you're thinking about a lot is really reflecting. They're really thinking about you. It says give each other some space at the moment. A lot of you are in separation from this person, but when you think about them, they think about you really strongly. And it says, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So this person is basically saying like, even though we're in separation, eventually it's all going to work out. This person is doing a lot of reflection. Let's see what they're reflecting on. What are they reflecting on for Cancer? Wheel of Fortune, they want change. They want positive change with you, okay? Um, for many of you, uh, I didn't get messages for everyone, but for Cancer, I'm getting like this person could reach out to you like maybe sometime in January, late January. It could be very unexpected with the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, could be in May, could be in August. Whenever the seasons are changing, that's when this person's going to start reaching out is what it's telling me. If this person had something to say to you, what would they say? Back to what you love, reevaluate your decision or your desires. So this person's like basically saying, come back to me. I still, I'm still connected to you. I still love you is what I'm getting here um, from your person. Okay, let's move on to Leo. Quick reads, quick New Year's reads. Leo, okay. Leo, what does your person want to tell you during New Year's? What do they want to say? Random message for Leo. Gratitude. And it came in reverse, by the way. So, Leo, I feel like your person's reflecting on, like, the fact that they, you know, they're grateful to have you. They're grateful that you're in, you're in their life. Um, the message from them is, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So, yeah, this person's reflecting on the fact that they, you know, if this is an ex that you keep thinking about, um... They're trying to reflect on the time when they should have been grateful for you. This is somebody that's like, yeah, I need to be grateful for Leo because, you know, I don't know. It's like they want to appreciate you here is what it's saying. So what other messages do they want to say to you? Okay, your person, Leo, <laughs> Leo, your person has a Bible. Look how long this is. Your person really wants to talk to you. So let's read what your person saying and it's the dove so let's see it says you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so this person's basically saying like 
I'm sorry for putting you through a hard time. I'm sorry, you know, this happened. Things weren't supposed to happen this way. Um, but they're acknowledging and they're saying like, there's a higher purpose. Like there's a higher reason why this happened. Why did this happen between you and them? Let's see why this happened between you and them. Yeah, it's the fact that this person left, you know, they're, they're basically saying like during New Year's when they're thinking about you, they're basically saying like, I'm really like, sad that this happened i'm sad that i left i'm sad that you left i'm sad that things didn't work out this person's really sad like there's just a sad like feeling here but they basically want to tell you like there's a higher purpose and all of this is going to make sense in the end is what they're trying to say to you if they had one thing to say to you leo what would they say i love you this person loves you like it doesn't matter what you and them went through they love you okay it says these are powerful words like they really love you no matter what happened even if this person left um i think deep down inside they feel bad that that happened but they're also very grateful you know for even experiencing having you in their life you know in the first place all right let's move on to virgo virgo okay virgo what is the New Year's message from the person that you can't get off your mind? What do they want to say to you? We have freedom, which was in reverse. This person doesn't feel free, okay? They're sad that they're not connected with you is what this is telling me here. I'm also getting Virgo, like your person wants to be free. They want to connect with you. So the message here from your person is you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness so i feel virgo your person really wants you to be open with them like you know to talk to be open to be more connecting with them like super super open now if this is not um your person it could be you wanting this from someone it's just like being more open i'm i'm feeling like your person wants to be like more open with you that's, that's the vibe i'm getting what other messages does your person have for you? Soulmates. Ooh, this person's really connected to you, okay? The message from your person is your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So this person is like kind of, you know, saying to you, I'm your soulmate. Like, are you not realizing this? Like, you're, I'm the one that you're supposed to be with. You're supposed to be with me. I'm your soulmate. So this person's like, you know, telling you we're supposed to be together. What other messages does your person have for you? Okay. We have express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So yeah, Virgo, this person wants you to like give them something or offer them something so that they could have like, you know, um, confirmation that you're interested in them is what this is telling me. So if your person had one thing to say... Two of Swords, um, I feel like this person is closed off, okay, from you, or you may feel they're closed off. Why are they closed off from Virgo? Tower card, okay. This person is sad that, you know, you two had a tower moment. What else do they want to say to you, Virgo? Mm, Nine of Pentacles. They want to know if you're single. They want to know if you're if you're alone. Um, because this person, whoever it is, Virgo, that you're dealing with, I had to literally, like for you, Virgo, I had to pull more cards because your person is like, they're sad, number one, that you two are not together. And number two, I feel like this person wants to be free, like from this 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 feeling. It's a very like hard feeling. Look at all these cards. This person feels like they're alone right now. Okay, they feel like they're alone without you. This person also wonders too, Virgo, like, are you alone? Are you by yourself? This is what this is saying, you know, are you alone? Are you by yourself? I'm sad about, you know, the tower moment that we had. So this person wants to know, like, are you still interested? And if you are, you need to let them know because, you know, they're expecting a gift from you or they're expecting something from you to like confirm, you know, that you're possibly still interested. All right. <clears throat> Next sign, Libra. Libra. Okay. Libra. What does your person want to say to you? Let's see. Random message. Random oracle message. Forgiveness in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with somebody who is trying to get forgiveness from you, okay? It says you are now able to 
activate the power of love in order to release past hurt. So this person is acknowledging, okay? They're acknowledging that they hurt you, they created some sort of trauma, um, they want your forgiveness. That's what they're thinking of. When they think about you, the person who's most on your mind, they want your forgiveness, okay? Message from your person, message from your person, okay? Your person has a, ooh, your person has two messages for you, so I'll read them. First message for you is give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So your person is, you know, acknowledging, they're like, yeah, you know, Libra, you deserve the best. I want to give you the best. This person wants to give you the best. Second message from your person is, um, and by the way, your person wants to talk. There's somebody who likes to talk. So message here is, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Yeah. So this person is acknowledging that um, you need to focus more on yourself right now. Like this is where you're at. This is where you need to be. You need to be focusing on yourself. Um, but this person really, they're feeling the separation now. If you're in separation and they want your forgiveness, they feel like you're really mad at them or something like that. Let's see. Your person says, treasure your loved ones. Yeah, this person never appreciated you, Libra. And now during New Year's, they're thinking about you and they're like, oh, I should have appreciated Libra more. It is important to love others deeply. This person is also learning how to love you. So if there was something to, that they wanted to say to you, Libra, what would they say? Ah, <sighs> can you take my offer? Some of you don't want to deal with this person because they're petty. I'm getting a very petty vibe here. Sorry to say. Yeah, I'm getting a petty, petty energy. I don't know, this person, they, they have something to offer you, but um, they're basically saying, like, in order for me to offer something to you, I need forgiveness because I'm not sure if you're still interested is what this is saying. So yeah, Libra, I just feel like your person really wants to offer you something. They want your forgiveness at this time. All right, let's move forward to Scorpio. Scorpio, the one who's most on your mind, what do they want to say to you? If they had something to say, what do they want to say to you? Friendliness. This could be a friend for some of you, like somebody that is a friend but you don't know that they like you so if you have that situation this could be the person whoever's on your mind the most right now their message to you is you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections so this person they're your friend and they're interested holla <laughs> my beloved your message from your person that you that's most on your mind is Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This person really loves you, Scorpio. Dang, could be a friend. <laughs> Let's see what else they want to say to you. Have faith. Trust your faith in the situation. A lot of you are separated from this person is what it's telling me. Um, but they're really still connected to you. Like they're very, very connected to you is what it's saying. Let's see what else they want to say to you. This person has something to offer you, Scorpio. I feel like this is like something casual. It's a friend or um, you don't really know this person well, but they, they want to offer you something here. So I think the person that's most on your mind is basically trying to figure out a way on how to offer you something. Let's see here. Yeah, they're just waiting for things to change. Okay, I see this person um, communicating or talking to you possibly in January. Okay, late January is what I'm getting here for you, Scorpio. Okay. Sag. Saggy. Okay. Sagittarius, the person who's most on your mind. What do they want to say to you? Let's see what your person wants to say. Random message for you. Okay. We have present. So the message from your person is you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. 
okay so this person basically wants you to live in the present they want you to be in the moment they don't want you you to be thinking about the past or the pre like the future they want you to think about the present this person wants you to presently reach out to them like in the moment is what it's telling me message from your person is okay message from your person says when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love so this person is like basically saying um don't think of hatred don't think of like don't think of any emotional negative feelings think about the memories that you're going to take with you about this person okay hopefully they're positive um this person doesn't want you to pass from this world and leave with negative thoughts of them um they just want to share love with you like this person just wants you to be in the moment they're, they're like be in the moment enjoy the moment with me just just enjoy love be part, you know be in the moment that's what this person wants it's very simple sagittarius very simple <clears throat> message from your person appreciate this moment every <laughs> see your person's like be present in the moment don't be anywhere else you know this is like a confirmation for someone here appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love so be in the moment that's what your person's saying okay yeah could be a leo that you're dealing with here um i just feel like this person really loves you even if bad things happen between you and them this person will always love you um for some of you there's a child involved for many of you for others of you this is somebody who just loves you like they just have love they will always have love for you they this is not someone who thinks of you negatively this is somebody who thinks of you positively even if things didn't go well it's like don't focus on the negative because remember when you pass on into the other world you don't want to take negative um memories okay you don't want to do that all right let's move forward to capricorn oh capricorn yeah capricorn we're on capricorn now capricorn okay what does your person want to say to you right now capricorn random message virtue okay so the message from your person is you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow so yeah your person is like there's a couple of things I'm getting from this Capricorn. The first thing I'm getting is your person wants you for themselves. They don't want to be sharing you. Um, virtue and standards are very important to this person. So when this person thinks about you, they think about you being virtuous, okay? You're somebody who offers that or that's what they want from you. Let's see your Oracle love message from your person. Ooh only time will tell so your person's not sure yet or you're not sure about this person but it's basically saying like eventually you two are going to be together is what it's saying but only time is going to tell this person's not sure though 100 percent. okay i feel like this is a new person for some of you yeah message from your person is consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love this person wants to have a home with you they want to live with you they want to marry you they want to be with you um, but this person isn't sure right now. So they're trying to see, like for many of you Capricorn, this person's testing you or you're testing them is what I'm getting. What do they want to say to you? The person who's most on your mind, what do they want to say to you? Yeah, they're a little defensive or they feel you're defensive. Why is this? Yeah, this is you thinking about this person like, you know, if this is the right one for you, you're not 100% sure. You're not 100% sure. And this is why it says only time will tell, right? Um, so I think basically what your person's thinking of is like, oh, you know, we need to take our time. We need to take our time. For some of you, this person just got out of a third party situation or there was some sort of breakup that happened recently and you still need to get to know this person. Okay. It's not going to happen right away for you. You still need to get to know one another is what it's saying. Okay. Aquarius. Message from your person who's most on your mind let's see priorities okay somebody's busy here i don't know who's busy but could be your person feeling like you're always busy you don't have time for them message from your person is you're you understand 
the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So this person's um, saying to you, like, it doesn't matter if you're busy. Make some time for me. I don't care if you're busy. Spend time with me. That's your job. That's what this person's basically saying to you. Make time for me. <laughs> Let's see. Playfulness. Yeah, this person wants to have fun with you. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun and remember love is the greatest healer. What other messages from your person? We have the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. Yeah, this person's very connected to you. <clears throat> Even if you two are not together, this person's feeling like very connected to you. They want to spend time with you is what this is telling me. The person that's most on your mind, what do they want to say to you? Emperor in reverse. Yeah, this person feels like there's a lack of stability between you and them. And this is what they want from you, okay? They want stability. They want to be in a relationship. They don't want to be in something casual. So if you are dealing with this person who's most on your mind casually, what they're really thinking of is how can I get Aquarius to commit to me? This is what they want. They want a commitment. Um, they want stability from you. Let's move on to the sign of Pisces, final sign for the evening. I think it's New Year's already. I think they rung the bell. I don't know. <laughs> kind of zoned out in my own world. Okay. Um, yeah, we had tolerance in reverse for you, Pisces. This person is like, can you be tolerant? Um, why are you making rash decisions? Why are you you know be tolerant is what your person saying and it says you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone and the oracle message from your person is time yeah this person's like can you be patient with me can you be understanding you are trying too hard give it time that's what your person's saying to you and message from your person is Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. So yeah, your person's basically saying like be tolerant, um, be understanding, get to know me more, don't make rash decisions. Magician in reverse. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's a little manipulative, okay? So be careful. This person's sad without you. Oh my God, look how sad they are. Very, very sad right now. Um, this person just wants you to reconsider. What do they want you to reconsider, Pisces? Your happiness with them. This person feels like you made a rash decision about something and they're just, they're sad because for many of you, this person feels like they're alone, okay? But they're also like, I think a lot of you made a decision about this person because they're very manipulative, but I also feel that this person has a lot of love for you is what I'm sensing here. So your person's sad because they're realizing that you kind of lost your tolerance. You made a decision or something here. This person is saying only time will tell. Okay, they also feel like you're trying too hard in some sort of situation. Okay, so you need to give this situation time is what it's telling me. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I just thought I would come on quickly and give you some random messages. Um, I'm going to post this now. So thanks so much for tuning into the live stream. I didn't want to come on and stay on for too long, but I thought I would give you quick messages um, for the one that's thinking about you. Yeah. So happy new year, everyone. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope these messages helped you. I hope the calmness can help you fall asleep and go to bed. Um, yeah. And I'll see you all very soon. Happy new years.